What's up everyone? Welcome back to our vlog. If you're new here, I'm Carmel and two of my friends today will be Chelsea and Gea. Another day, another review. Today's review will be a unique cafe located in Bekasi. So without further ado, let's go straight to the vlog. Ending a rough day with some desserts to fulfill your cravings, then you are absolutely in the right place. But being so, a unique place in Sumaragon Mall Bekasi ground floor is something you should actually put on top of your go-to list for foods. Pat Bingsu is a Korean dessert house that has mainly spread all over Indonesia and also Singapore. The interior design of Pat Bingsu is rather playful with subway station concept and K-pop famous songs blasting in the background and their music videos displayed in the TVs. As the name suggests, their signature dish is of course Pat Bingsu, which is a Korean shaved ice with rat bean paste. Talking about the menu, if you are more into the savory dishes, don't worry at all because they also serve scrumptious Korean snacks and a wide selection of Korean cuisine, largely inspired by the popular street food in Korea. Just by looking at the picture from the menu, I know it's very mouth-watering, but apparently we went there after lunch, so we are too full to actually order other main dishes. And we ended up ordering a couple desserts that you'll see in the next clip. Unfortunately, there were many things that were not available when we got there. We're not sure what the main reason behind it actually is, but they might reduce the menu offer due to the limited visitors during this pandemic situation. Most of Pat Bingso's desserts are actually named after actual stations in Seoul, just like what we ordered, like Dong Demun Pat Bingso, which is a combination of chocolate and banana, which is just absolutely amazing. And especially if you're like me, a chocolate banana smoothie lovers, then this is actually a very great option for you. The red beans are also delicious, plus a combination of ovaltine and chocolate sauce on the side that actually could not go wrong. Next dessert that we ordered is Gangnam Pat Bingsu, which is a bulk of dessert consists of popcorn, pot, or red beans, cornflakes, caramel sauce, and vanilla ice cream. The best way to eat Pat Bingsu is actually by mixing every single ingredient together. And for the Gangnam Pat Bingsu, we absolutely love the crunchy texture from the cornflakes and also popcorns. Next thing you're gonna see is a Bibimpat Bingsu, and it's not a bowl of Bibimpat. But instead, it is a bowl of Korean chef ice dessert consists of fruits, jelly, pot, or red beans, strawberry sauce, vanilla ice cream with a unique plating looking like a bowl of rice topped with sunny side up that's made from vanilla ice cream and peach fruit. While the red bean was actually overly sweet, the rest of the fruits were refreshing, especially the cute little leg on top. And all the food appeal aesthetically pleasing in particular. All bingsu comes with some thick sauces by the side for your drizzling just like caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and also strawberry sauce. And overall, it was a very great experience for us. It only took about 10 minutes more or less for our ordered desserts to come. Not only one, but all three of it to come. We ordered at 12.40 and it come at 12.50 exactly 10 minutes later. The pricing is also very reasonable and worth the money. Service charge only costs around 5% and the tax is 10% from the total cost. And uh, what we ordered, none of it actually costs above 50000 except the Bim Bim Pat Bing Su. I think that's all from us today and thank you so much for watching and see you in another vlog.